Well, the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority faced a curious and at times furious crowd in Cleveland County over plans to build miles of new turnpikes. News 9's Barry Mangold's in the Noble area with their questions and answers from the OTA. Thursday night's meeting was not a traditional town hall. More than a dozen engineers working on the Access Oklahoma project answered individual questions about the planned turnpikes. Some people, though, only came to voice opposition. An hour before doors even open, Lisa Meyer is handing out yard signs with a clear message. We want to curtail the OTA. They're too, way too powerful. More than 100 people packed into Noble High School Thursday night to hear directly from the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority. Many pushing back against the threat of eminent domain. A lot of these folks didn't have for sale sign in their yard when uh, we're going to approach them. So we take that very seriously. It's the most difficult part of all of our jobs. One of the planned routes runs from Noble to Nuala. Another runs towards Newcastle. OTA Deputy Director John E. Kelly says those routes are almost set in stone. Unless there's something profound that we don't know about, uh, it's probably going to be very close to the alignment that we're currently projecting. They need to move it. Virginia Sanders, a longtime Noble resident, says she hopes the route moves further away from the local school zones. She says the OTA's lack of flexibility on the routes is frustrating. They're not responsible to anybody because they're self-funding. And I don't understand how America, this is America. Every government is supposed to be responsive to the, the citizens, okay? The OTA is planning three more town hall meetings like this next week, one in Newcastle, one in Norman, and one in Moore. The state will begin issuing bonds to fund the construction as soon as early 2023. In Noble, Barry Mangold, Oklahoma's own News 9.